and welcome to Fitness Training Solutions. This is video blog two of your learner assessment record for your personal training certificate, level three, which looks like this. Okay, so where do we start? So it is part two, you've already done the nutrition analysis and you've done the nutrition program already for your client. We're now gonna to go to page 31 to 34. 31 to 34 is basically your knowledge questions. You're gonna find all the information you need to know in your personal training manual. Some of it is also common sense as well. Um, what I want you to do is work through the book. Anything you're not sure on, you can contact me via my email or contact number. You can also speak to your tutor or assessor on the day of your course as well. Once you finish your knowledge questions, you're gonna go on to page 35. Now this is your client profile. So similar to nutrition, you're gonna do the client's name, age, you're gonna look at the gender, the description of what they've done before, so their past activity levels, hobbies, and interests. You're then gonna look at the fit principles, which we said before was fitness, intensity, time and type. So looking at the fit principles based on their present and current activity, um, present, current, and past activity levels as well. Once you've done that, you're then ready to begin your alignments and your postural assessments and also your fitness testing as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this sheet on page number 36. Page 36 is going to give you various number of tests as I've just said. So we're looking at blood pressure, um, we're looking at body fat testing, BMI testing, uh, cardiovascular testings, we're looking at strength tests as well, also range of movement as well as postural alignment. So we're going to take all those into account and we're going to work out what our client's current needs are and where they are in terms of their training. Knowing that the beginning, the fitness test and the beginning levels is the best way that we're going to get to reach our client's goals. After we've done that, we're then going to do exactly what I've just said. We're going to set goals. We're going to set long, medium and short term goals. Now we know it's 12 weeks, so we're going to set the 12 week goal on the long term, first of all, so we know exactly what they want to achieve. We know what we're on our aim for. After we've done that, we're going to go then straight on to your medium goals, and then we're going to break into your short term goals, which is your small bite sized chunks. So what I need you to do is sit down with your client and go through the goals with them and see exactly what they want to achieve. Remember, it needs to be realistic. It needs to be something that's achievable for them for motivational purposes, but it also needs to be something that you can achieve as a new personal trainer as well. Anything you're not able to achieve, remember, you can refer to um, another professional. You can also look to see um, seek information from a manager or someone that's been personal training for a long time for advice and guidance. Remember at level three, it's only the beginning levels. You're learning as you're going on. So even after the qualification, you're still learning. In this industry, it's developing all the time, so you can never learn enough. So just keep asking questions, um, asking why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so then once you've done that, you've then got to work out your plan of action and what you're gonna do. Now, every single section is gonna look like this. And you're gonna use the frequency, intensity, time and type to do a session overview of the 12 weeks, showing progression what you've completed. Now, the overview, using frequency, intensity, time and type, gives you um, a complete structure of the plan from warm up to main CV, to resistance training program, all the way through to your stretches. You're also gonna be looking at outdoor activities as well, so working in the park with a client and stuff like that. On page number 45 and 46, you've got a program card. So you've got a program card. Now you've got to make four copies of that. You need to do four programs, individual programs. I would do program week one, week three, week nine, and week 12. So I'll do an individual program for those weeks that show progression. So that I can look at program one and see there's a significant difference to program 12, going back to program one. Using the criteria, we need to see two advanced CV exercises and four advanced training pro uh, approaches. So the advanced weight training approaches would be something like supersets, drop sets, pre and post exhaustion, negative training, so things like that. You're also gonna need to add a PNF um, stretching involved in that and some kind of core stability exercise as well. Once that's completed, for each individual um, session you're doing with your client, 
you need to get an evaluation after each session. The evaluation sheet is going to help determine whether um, they're happy with the program and what you need to adjust and change. Once all this has been completed and you've done all the evaluations, you've done the end of session goal and you've actually done a reanalysis and fitness test on them, the then case study is going to be binded together and you're going to send it to your assessor or you can send me a copy so I can have a look at it to begin with. Once that's done, hopefully we'll be giving it back to you with a pass grade. If not, we'll be giving you points of action and things that you could do. We also look at giving you action points, the things you could do to improve on your session. Um, after all, none of us are perfect and we're always looking for improvement. So, you know, we're always trying to give you some positive feedback as well as some constructive criticism and what you could do to make it better. After that's done, you'll, you'll finish your case study and then it's on to your practical assessment and the two-day practical. That's everything for now. If you've got any questions, please contact me. My details are going to be coming up below. Um, have a good evening. See you later. No, I